What's going on guys, Matt over here with Lethal Camaro and today I want to talk about the 2018 Mustang GT and higher, probably the GT500, which we'll find out for sure, but there's a few things that Ford has revealed and it's good news. Now before all of you Camaro fans and Mustang fans start hating on me, which I'm sure you will, uh, hear me out, please. So, 2018 Mustang. It is being quoted or is highlighted at 460 horsepower with 420 pounds foot torque. Now, there, Ford is also claiming that its 0 to 60 will be under 4.0. Now, kind of confusing why they just didn't say what the actual 0 to 60 is, but we do know that it will be under 4.0. GM did release that its 2016 Camaro, when released, the SS, was a 4.0 0 to 60 car. And as we know from testing, we've seen anywhere from 3.8 to 4.3. Now that's all dependent if you have the automatic or the manual equipped in your vehicle. So there is some qualifications here for the Mustang. So the Mustang is coming with the brand new A10 transmission, which is freaking awesome. It was co-developed with both GM and Ford, Ford taking the lead. Kudos to Ford, good job guys. We've seen it in the ZL1 and we've seen it in the Ford Raptor. So that's awesome, right? So to get the number, I'm assuming it will be running the auto 10 for that zero to 60 number. Is that a bad thing? No, but it is a qualification. And I know all of you manual guys out there will be like, oh, it's not automatic. But, um, you know, it all boils down to the new Mustang will potentially be faster than the current six gen Camaro. Now, that's a good thing. I, that's a hundred percent good thing. We all know. Let's take a step back. Everyone's gonna. This is where the arguments will happen. But the sixth gen Camaro came out after the the new, basically the sixth gen Mustang body style had more power, had better performance. It beat the quarter mile, beat around the track. Be, I mean, the sixth gen Camaro I think surprised a lot of people. Now the, the Mustang guys will come along and be like, well, if you put bolt-ons on a Mustang, it will be better and because the Mustang's cheaper and you could still be under the price of a Camaro. Blah, blah, blah. Stock for stock, right out of the gate, the sixth gen Camaro did beat the Mustang. Now, we still don't know the full numbers of the 2018 Mustang. We still don't know the full qualifications. Uh, we Again, I'm, I'm making the assumption it looks like their they're, um, Goodyear 4 tires are, I, I don't even know the tires. I have to look at the tires. Hold on. Phone. I need my phone. Hold on here. Okay. I need to look at these comments. They don't have good years. In setting this car up, it is the Michelin Sport 4 tires. So obviously they have a much better tire on their car than the current gen Camaro, which is great. Good job Ford and prefer in stepping up your game and adding better tires, better power. Um, all that across the board. Now the torque is kind of concerning, but from my understanding, they have a new like launch control mode that allows the car to get better traction. So maybe that has something to do with it. Either or, again, new technology that Ford's applying into the Mustang. I think that's great news. Now, why am I so happy the Mustang may or may not be faster uh, than the SS? Now, right now I'm only talking GT to SS. Now, there is, there. let me just finish this thought because I'm going to start tangenting and go all over the place. But it's great because then, you know, GM does have their refresh coming. Now, we've seen full fleets of cars, which typically if it's a general refresh and they're not doing any sort of performance modifications, you wouldn't see the crazy caravans that we've already seen in spy shots and whatnot. I have a pretty good feeling GM's going to up their ante in the power level. They'll probably upgrade the fuel rails. They'll probably also bring the A10 transmission. Obviously, they have cafe standards they have to meet too. They have this brand new transmission that they've been working on. Now, they have been kind of limiting it to the ZL1, um, and rightfully so. I think they're still working out kinks there, and they kind of don't want uh, people seeing all the crazy stuff that they're doing within that. But Again, this is all speculation. So Ford guys, be kind. I love you, I love Mustangs, I love Camaros, and I love Challengers. So just non-biased opinions here. So I'm super excited the Mustang is gonna be faster 
potentially for 2018. We only know conjecture. We only know it is, it will be faster than 4.0 and a 0 to 60. We have no idea what quarter mile times are. We have no idea how the handling of the car, because minus times alone, like the Camaro SS was just destroying a standard GT, regardless of power on a track by way more than just milliseconds. So, but I can just hope that Ford will continue to upgrade. Maybe they'll allow the Shelby parts to start trickling down. Um, and hopefully they, they have some new stuff to bring to the table with their refresh. Now, let's look at the bigger picture. Um, in some of the leaked information, they have highlighted that the higher end V8 is a 680 horsepower, which is that has to be the GT500. Um, so we already know about the GT350s. There's probably not going to be much change there. Those cars are what they are. Um, they may roll out a couple stylistic changes, but I, I just I don't see that happening. Those cars are beautiful cars. The GT350, in my personal opinion, is the best looking Mustang Ford has ever made. So I would drive one. I would 100% drive one. If I could afford a second car, I would go get a GT350 and be a happy camper. Um, that being stated, the GT500, that is a huge unknown vehicle. We've seen spy shots, we've seen details, now potentially the power, you know, 680 horsepower, and sorry, I'm forgetting the torque numbers. Uh, 630 um, pounds foot torque. Am I saying that right? I always say that backwards. Yes, pounds foot torque. I'm an idiot. And it's supercharged. So that is going to be more power than the ZL1, right? Yeah, it is. More power than the ZL1, more power than the Z06. Um, it's more power than anything GM is currently putting on the market. Now, rumor has it the ZR1 is north of 700 horsepower. So that would, that's a Corvette though. This conversation's Camaro Mustang. Let's keep it that. But that just, uh, well, sorry, let me deviate back. I personally believe whatever's in the ZR1 will find its way in the potential um, Z28 if it's not supercharged. Now, if it is supercharged, then my my theory is completely blown apart and it probably is a supercharged motor, so I might as well just stop now. But let's go back to the GT500. I think Ford has a interesting car in its hands, has a lot of power. If you guys know, the GT500 did pretty well, the previous GT500 did pretty well in a straight line and just got destroyed on any track um, metric whatsoever. And again, that's not an Octa Ford, that's just kind of what happened, unfortunately. Um, I wanted that GT500 to be a great car, but it just had all sorts of problems that just needed to be worked out. Now, for you straight line guys, that GT500 was a beast. I mean, that car to this day can keep up with some pretty um, well-equipped vehicles. Now, I've seen a couple arguments where guys are like, oh, a stock GT500 uh, can keep up with a sixth gen Camaro. That's not true. There's plenty of videos on the internet. And then there was like, oh, it's driver mod. And it was like, well, it's, I've seen both automatics and sticks just not hang with a stock uh, SS. So yeah, that's gonna cause lots of comments down below, but either or. Um, the new Mustang, 2018, there's some cool things coming from Ford, and I'm excited for it because it's going to push GM to come out with better stuff and upgrade their cars and, and upgrade their engineering and figure out better ways to do things with their cars. And, um, you know, it's, it's, the, it's the winning battle. We are the winners here because GM and Ford are always just duking it out. Like, I'm going to take you out, I'm going to take you out. And we're just getting better performance cars. I mean, who would have dreamed the 6th Gen Mustangs and the 6th Gen Camaros would ever be at this level? Like, I don't think anybody ever would foresee that, um, you know, our cars performing at a level of supercars. Like, that's insane. And that's just, that's GT350s. That's that's Camaro SS's. That's the ZL1. ZL11 LE. That car is a monster. Now... The GT350R is also a monster in its own right. Dethrone the Z28 that we held as the best track car Camaro ever. And rightfully so. The GT350R is an amazing car. Uh, and, and if anybody is going to refute that, you guys are just insane. Um, Ford has put a lot of time and energy into these cars. And it's been amazing. Now, the Ford GT, that's a whole different story. I will still never forgive Ford for, for putting a V6 in a Ford GT that just... 
that hurts my feelings inside. I love the 4 GT. I will never be able to afford a 4 GT. So I'm talking out of my side of my mouth here, but you know, I just I felt the GT was an American icon with a big old beautiful V8 inside of it, and now it's a turbocharged V6. It's still a gorgeous car. It's still amazingly gorgeous. So whatever. Uh, it's a wash. I don't have to drive it, but I will stare at it if I see it at a car show and probably drool on it regardless. <laughs> so I'm a hypocrite. Yep, that's me. Um, but yeah, so 2018 Mustang, gonna get some upgrades. 460 horsepower, 40 or 420 pounds foot torque. Still, I know the 6th gen Camaro is 455, 455 torque and horsepower. So it's, it's gonna be an interesting game. Um, we'll, we'll see what the actual numbers pan out, how it is. I'm just excited. I'm excited to see what the new Ford Mustang GT can do. I feel like the GT was cheated and Ford put more emphasis into the Shelby. Um, and I think GM was just putting emphasis all over the place, maybe too much in the i4, but um, the SS's alone stood their ground. They did really well. The 1LE is freaking ridiculously awesome on the track. Now, a lot of you guys don't drive your car on the track. You do street driving, just like I do for the most part. And I just want a really loud, high horsepower, I want to get on it, get sideways, have a good time kind of car. So one day I'll get to the track, one day I'll put down numbers and all you guys will finally be like, yay, finally, Lethal finally did a quarter mile in his car. Once the forge bottom end goes in and I'm good and I'm not worried about breaking axles and all that great stuff. I'm just worried. I'm sorry. I'm just like, I just am. So, and if you guys haven't seen the car in a little bit, sorry, I, I don't have my gimbal, but the car is sitting here. I still have not cleaned it from Camaro Fest. I got home from Camaro Fest and literally left the next day to go on a family vacation to Kings Canyon. Um, and so she is, look at, you can see the dirt build up here. Let's see if you can really see it down here. You can see how dirty she is. She's filthy. This poor car. It, it's white. It's hard. It's hard to... And now it's just sunny, so you can't see anything. But either or, that is my conversation of the day. So I'm going to leave this with you guys at this point. Um, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of the 2018 Mustang? Are you guys interested in the specs? I mean, I'll be honest. Like, I... If I was to add a second car to my corral, I would think the Mustang would be the next car there. I really do like what Dodge is doing with the Challenger. Unfortunately, it's just an old platform at this point. They haven't really done anything new to it outside of the Demon, and I'm not gonna go buy a $100,000 basically crazy high horsepower car. I would like to get a car, or if I got a Mustang or a Challenger, it would be a V8 mid-range and I would upgrade it to perform on the level of the high po or the high performance versions of those cars so that's me that's what I would do but either or let me know what you guys think of the 2018 Mustang what do you guys think about the upcoming refresh of GM do you think they're gonna add more power do you think they'll bring the a10 what do you think GM has up its sleeve because I'm sure it has something they're not gonna sit there and rest on their laurels so either or let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this content hit that subscribe button again i try not to be biased to one you guys know i'm a big camaro fan i do like mustangs i do like challengers um and i'm pretty open about that and i think this video i was pretty non-biased one one way or the other so let me know what you guys think as always and uh if you don't want to subscribe likes comment shares are appreciated but until next time or next video i do hope to see you on the road